Hi, I'm The Conscious Foodie, here to help you make informed decisions on how to eat better. We're here at Cape Door in Nova Scotia overlooking the lovely Advocate Harbour. We're on our way to the Wild Caraway restaurant where we're going to try their halibut and find out why it's so special and what makes it conscious. I want to change the world one plate at a time. What do I mean by this? We all eat, so we're all consumers. I think if we are conscious about what we purchase, the farmers, the producers, they will have to produce what we buy. We can be the change. Be a conscious foodie like me. So my goal is to present you with easy options that can help you make a difference. See who is paying attention to where the food comes from and that traceability that's important. I believe the word biodiversity will probably come up at some point uh, and we'll tell you a little bit about that. One of my favorite things about Vicky's Veggies is that it's an honor system. We've been here for quite a while now and there's no one actually working the shop. People come and go, they pick their tomatoes, they pick their different veggies and then they leave money in a can. Pretty cool. One of your most efficient ways of raising protein is through fish farming. As soon as you put a mussel farm in, you create this huge artificial reef that's floating in that body of water. So just by default, coastal waters that have mussel farms there are cleaner. I think that is the one way to save uh, you know, our world. You know, we all have to eat. It may as well be a quality product that educates people. Oh, wow. That is really good. Did I look stupid when I did that? Renowned marine life artist Robert Weiland changed how people thought about ocean environment when he started to paint huge whale murals on walls in the 1980s. We need to identify areas that are used for commercial use, like shipping or fishing or even drilling. Currently only 3% of the world's oceans are protected. That's not good enough. We need to do better. Well, Canada has one of the greatest biospheres in the world and we have one of the greatest shorelines as well, yet only 1.3% is actually protected. I think it kind of looks like Justin Trudeau, seriously. <laughs> Come on, more so than me, right? Who knows? Yeah. Well, basically, it's the fact that the government has gotten together and to really do a nice cleanup, and also the last two winters have been so bitterly cold that it's really helped with the near record numbers of yellow perch. Currently, 50% of the world's fish protein comes from aquaculture farms up to 50% of carbon dioxide is actually absorbed and converted by our oceans. Up to a third of the world's population relies on oceans for their fish protein. It can't just be about food that is cheap anymore. It has to be food that is healthy for us, healthy for your families, and healthy for the environment and the planet. That's so it's, right. it's up to the consumer to buy and think consciously, as we said, right? That's right, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Let's change this world, one plate at a time. Remember, making more informed decisions about what you eat can lead you to a better life, a healthier body, and a healthier planet. Join me next time when we go to Tilsonburg, Ontario to YU Ranch. It's a cattle farm that not only feeds their cattle wild grass, but wild flowers. Thanks a lot.